Those cake bites right there are just in time for fall. Ours taste seasons. So these are some autumn inspired flavors like apple pie in a cake bite. That's what the white one is. The chocolate one is zucchini cinnamon chocolate. They are the original gourmet creations of Wendy Paul who has written the book. 101 gourmet cake bites has lots of different flavors and combinations in there. You're going to show us how to make another sort of a fall and flight inspired one. This is Southern Red Velvet, right? Southern Red Velvet. And you even have some up here. I thought, up here. I thought this was getting ready for the big, uh, you know, big football game coming up Saturday. You sure. have them all decorated in red and white here, Wendy. <laughs> Red's my favorite color, but Southern Red Velvet's red too. So if you want to say they're for the game on Saturday, go for it. Okay, you can do it. These are really cool and they look great. So show us how you make these things. All right, well, what I did is I baked the cake. The recipes are in the book. I baked the cake and cooled it. And once it's cooled, I crumbled it into a larger bowl excuse me, larger bowl, and I added um, cream cheese oh. instead of frosting. Because the whole idea with cake bites, they have to be a little stickier and goopier than stickier regular cake, Stickier and goopier. Right? So right now you can see the consistency is a little crumbly, but if you push on it, it actually sticks together and forms in your hand. A lot of times people would add like canned frosting or some yes. might have been frosting. You added cream cheese. I added for, cream cheese. Added, I want to taste the, it's I really taste good. the raw part here. It's you know? really, really good. Really, really good. Don't yeah, you it's think? It's super moist. Super moist, flavorful. Yeah. Yeah. It's Great perfect. flavor. You like red velvet. Okay. Okay. So what you do is my cookie scoop once again, and I like to get a firm scoop. This is important so your cake ball doesn't fall apart. Okay. And then most of it's already shaped, so you just have to gently kind of shape it a little bit more. Look at that. See, it just comes together pretty quickly. Okay. Yeah. That's what you want. All right. So there's your cake bite. Now I'm going to show you today how to make a cake pop. That's what the red ones That's are here, the right? Red the ones are red there. velvets. Yep. They're on the sticks. They're on the sticks. So you can get a six inch stick or a four inch. I like the six inch. I think it handles better. It's easier to hold in your hand, but you can use four inch too. So you're going to dip the stick just a little bit into the uh, melted chocolate. And this is important because when you freeze your cake pop, you want it to stay on the stick. A lot the, of people complain because the technique is sometimes a little tricky or the cake ball p falls mm -hmm. off the stick. So if you have the little chocolate in there, does that stick it that on That helps it stay on. So when you freeze your cake pop now for 20 minutes in the freezer, and then it's going to be perfect ready to dip. Okay? So we're going to pretend that this has okay. been 20 minutes, all right? And it should work. We'll I hope tried it, it this morning. I hope it doesn't fall off here. Okay, so if it falls off, we're just going to pretend it doesn't. But what you're going to do is take your fork, and you're going to spoon your chocolate over the top. Notice I'm not dragging the cake bite through the chocolate, especially with the red velvet. It'll actually dye your, oh. dye your chocolate. So you don't want any crumbs left over. So you just lay it in there and just sort of spoon yes. the covering over spoon on top Spoon the covering it. over it. And then you're gently going to tap right here, just right along the edge, gentle, very gentle. This don't is knock very it off important. The stick. Especially because I didn't freeze it. But if you're gentle enough, you can actually get most of the excess chocolate off and it'll start to harden right there. And then if you want to decorate, I brought some red glitter. I love glitter. I think it's a lot of fun. It's the edible glitter. And while the cake pop is still wet, you're just going to kind of sprinkle that on. This is really, it looks, is that a different kind of glitter? Because it looks yeah. really flaky. Do you want to? Yeah, so is just it just a little flaky? What do you is this some kind it's of edible glitter? You can buy it at any in any candy aisle. They have all different colors. So not just red, they have gold and silver, they've got green, blue, yellow, the, every color imaginable. Me, it reminds me of fish food. You know like the flakes kind of, of fish yeah. food, you know? I don't want to say that because then people think we're sprinkling fish I food was on like, here. I don't know if I compare that when you're doing a cake bite. <laughs> but yes, it has the texture, so you yeah, can crinkle flat, it wafery just a little flat okay. wafery. So there's your cake pop. You can also do red wafers, like I like I did on the example where you can buy any color you want basically now at most craft stores, even um, like baking supply stores in their candy aisle. So you can do uh, different colors. So white and red I thought looked really pretty and then you can do variations of it just to make it look really, really nice. And when you st let those harden, you just like stick them in something like I a styrofoam do. I thing. like to use the styrofoam and if you wanted to make it look really pretty, you could always cut like scrapbook paper oh. and put it around. So it's not just to let them so harden. it's not it's just to let them harden. Yeah, that's them from to display there them. You can also lay them down, but I like the pops. I like to display them on the styrofoam so they're standing up. Okay, the whole idea okay. here is these fall flavors. Yep. I want to run down here to these other couple. Just okay. run through a couple. What is this white one here? Okay, the white one is can I break it yes, open? Yes, break it open. This oh, is, oh, wow. Oh, nice job. <laughs> so what did you, you didn't even use cream did, cheese, but what did you use This one actually sticky? has a little bit of cinnamon vanilla buttercream frosting, and then it's got the chopped up apple a pie filling. 
Mm. What do you think? I love it because the yeah. chunks of apple are in there. The chunks of apple are inside, so that's really, really good. Okay. And this one is everyone has zucchini in their garden, right? You, you just get a ton of zucchini, or your neighbors I'm have cut zucchini. It instead of making a mess like last time. Cut it open. This one is the chocolate zucchini cinnamon. So it's got a lot of cinnamon, lots of chocolate, and you can see a little bit of There's green. A little bit flakes. of green right there, yeah. Yep, from the cake that you bake it in. So that's really, really yummy fall one. I love the chocolate cinnamon. My yep. favorite might be the apple. It's I good, love isn't the chunks it? of the apple yep. pie filling in there. Yeah, it's really good. It's all about what's on the inside that counts. We've got the recipe for the Southern Red Velvet on our website, mm -hmm. but if you want all the different recipes, of course, it's all in Wendy's book. You can find it online or in local bookstores. 101 gourmet cake bites. Great ways to celebrate your fall flavors through a cake bite or even celebrate with red or blue or whatever colors you might want to celebrate this weekend. Recipe on our website. We'll be right back with more in Studio 5.